Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day and or evening, wherever you may be. Yeah, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a hot, hot minute. I am going to be going to be playing some more. Well, I'm not personally playing the game. We're going to be doing a CPU tournament, as the title says. We're doing a CPU tournament of Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Very old game. And not a huge roster. And we're going to just take it nice and slow. We're going to use the Z Fighters for this tournament. But we only got Trunks, Goku, Tien, Piccolo, Vegeta, Yamcha, Quirling, Gohan. You'll see how the roster looks in a minute. Uh, if you go and look at this roster compared to like... You could even say Tenkaichi 3, uh, Xenoverse 2, Raging Blast. Very small roster. Very small. But... Regardless, I am excited to see, so I just thought, you know what, we'll just do a fun little Z Fighters tournament, just do a nice little short one, why the hell not? Um, we are not going to be playing on the World Tournament stage, because, again, you can get ringed out from there, and uh, it could end a match very quickly, so we're not going to do that. Obviously, since this is also an old game, you can't really, like, change the number of, like, health bars that they have. They are stuck at three, so that is not going to be changing either, but... Uh, to make up for that, we're going to do what we did in Budokai 2 back in the day, which was a first to, th first to three. No, first to two. So best two out of three, I mean. So we're going to be doing a best two out of three type of tournament like we did in the, in the second game. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I did have a little bit of issues with the emulator at first. It was good lord. Not great. Uh, but it looks like it fixed now after just task managering it for some reason. That ended up fixing it. Good old task manager with the save. So yeah, we'll be doing that. I think I've already got it pretty much ready to go. Uh, if anyone is curious where we are going to be fighting, we're going to be fighting on Kami's Lookout because that place looks amazing. And I think that's the only... I'm not counting Tenkaichi games. Uh, I know it's in Xenoverse and Tenkaichi, but I think this is the only Budokai game that may have had Kami's Lookout. I don't think any other game had Kami's Lookout, so... This will be, be a treat. I know you can fall off Kami's Lookout, but obviously it wouldn't count as a ring out. You just fall down to the platform below. Uh, we've had some instances where the fights do take place down below, which is A-OK. -okay. Uh, a lot of the fights as well, when I test ran them uh, the other night, were perfectly fine. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this. Probably won't be a super, super long stream. We're just going to use the uh, music that's already in the game just for the hell of it. I didn't really plan too much ahead for this one because I'm very tired. Tuesdays are always a tanking for me, but not as bad as they are for Fridays. Just because it's my first day back. Also, can we just take a second to appreciate and that... Like, look at this really quick. The screens that they have for here are amazing. Just these, like, just like what happens every time you, like, go to another map for the stage selection. It looks so cool. I love that. I love this so much. No other Budokai game, I think, does this. For some reason, they only did it in this game, which was so upsetting. I would have also done the Cell Games Arena, but you don't start on the Cell Games Arena. You start on a cliff, like, you see that cliff to the far left? That little, that little hill, not the cliff, I'm sorry, but the little hill right there underneath the, the cliff? For some reason, you fight there instead of defaulting on the Cell Games Arena, but whatever. So we're going to play it on Kami's Lookout just for the hell of it. Let's do it. No more wasting time. Also, Nikki, Kenny, Aiden, Ali, Kuru, Aruna, Kristen, Corbin, Super Mystic Boy, Sensei Tori, Brandon. Hope you all are doing well. And uh, any lurkers as well. Hope everyone's having a fabulous Let's day. If you guys do enjoy this tournament, you want to see some more Dragon Ball Z tournaments that I do in these Dragon Ball games, you know what to do. Hit the like button. It lets me know. It gives me feedback if you guys want to see more of these in the future. It's that easy. It's crazy. That simple. So yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be going for just uh, best two out of three here. So first to two, obviously, is the winner. Also, just in case anyone's curious, if anyone remembers the cheese that Goku did back in... Uh, Back in Budokai 2, where he did a lot of warped Kamehameha. Uh, he does have that here. Whether or not he uses it, I have no clue. Right now, uh, it's pretty back and forth, though. I mean, let's be real. In a way, Trunks also has, like, main character plot armor. Ooh! Lamming him down to the bottom. There we go. That's what we like to see. Yeah, it'd be nice if Vegeta won a tournament for once, because Vegeta has never won a tournament. Out of all the tournaments I've done, he's never won one. You can believe it. Ooh, Trunks putting in the combos against Goku right now. 
Also, all the wins that you're seeing on the top, that was just me doing some test runs with the emulator because it was being a little weird. So, first round goes to Trunks. I knew I'd win. There you go. Trunks is the victor of the first round of the tournament. We're going to move on to the second round already. They've met back up at Kami's Lookout, and they're ready to go. Let's do it for real. Let's do it for real. Over here. Over here. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, honestly, like, obviously, like, in terms of appearance, I still really prefer, like, the, uh, like, Budokai 2 and Budokai 3 models, but this one still has its charm. I actually don't, I don't think it's as bad as people made it out to be. Like, compared to the others, yeah, they're not great, but I don't think they're horrible. I think they were good for a start, at least. I think it's got some, I think it's got its charm. All right, so far, Trunks has been, uh, doing, oh, we got a clash. Got a nice little melee clash. The Bariku, welcome to stream. Hope you are also doing well. Ooh, look at the cool damn this clock going on for a minute. All right, Goku has won the clash. There was a nice little key blast out. No Kaioken or Super Saiyan. To be fair to Goku, oh, we got a burning attack, baby. Burning attack. <laughs> Does that blow up the whole area? That was from the lookout, though. Okay, sure. Oh, this is looking rough for Tr for Goku. Goku is not having a good time right now. Woo, he's making a comeback though. Small comeback, Kaioken times 10. Ooh, he's holding his defense. Ooh, Goku. Goku's making a hell of a comeback right now. Oh no, you, were, you, sh you should have dodged that Goku. It go oh, and there you go. Trunks has won the won the match. Best two out of three. Trunks got two victories over Goku. Goku almost made it a very amazing comeback. So, very shocking to see Goku. Like, this is what I'm saying. Trunks technically also has plot armor. So, there you go. Goku, uh, Trunks technically has main character plot armor in a way. Because, you know, Trunks had his whole little arc in his own future timeline and everything. So, in a way, I feel like he's got that kind of plot armor as well. So... I think it only makes sense that uh, that Trunks would win. That Trunks would win, or at least put up a good fight against Goku. And there you go. So let's head over to this little screen over here. Goku eliminated from the tournament, and Trunks is moving on to the next round. This one, I don't know why. I really just wanted to see this fight. I wanted to see Piccolo versus Tien. No real reason. And I was also going to say this real quick. I always felt like the person who was going to be uh, in character slot one, like player one slot. Every time I tested it out when, like, Goku was fighting Vegeta, Goku would win every single round. Every time he went up against Piccolo, Goku would win. So, uh, Trunks broke that streak at the very beginning of the stream. So, there you go. Pretty cool. All right. Let's move on to the next round. It'll be Tien versus Piccolo. And, of course, we're just going to leave him on normal. No custom because, uh, for some reason, you can't do custom with player two. I don't know why. It's very strange, but... Whatever, you know, whatever. I, I didn't make the game. That's all I could say. I didn't make the game. Uh, why did they decide to make it so only one of them could have custom and the other one would just be normal? Uh, pretty backhanded, but, you know, whatever. You're wasting my time. Ready? All right, here we go. Oh, laid in some good, strong kicks already and finally got the first shot. First blood goes to Piccolo. Trunks is cooler, so yes, I agree. I feel like it'd be a kind of predictable thing to see Piccolo win, so nothing against Piccolo because I love Piccolo as well, but uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind to see some Tien. I wouldn't mind to see Tien win against uh, Piccolo here, move on against Trunks. Ooh, the world classic Dodon Ray. Another Dodon Ray. Also, uh, you can't, one thing I do actually kind of like about this game a little bit, I liked and didn't like, uh, mostly did like, because I didn't really mind it all that much. The fact that you needed to combo in order to get your key blast in um, Budokai 2 and Budokai 3, you could just do an input to just throw out like Dodon Rays and and uh, Kamehamehas and everything, or just, you know, those kinds of energy blasts. Super attacks, I guess you could say. Uh, in this game, you have to combo into it, so I kind of like it. Donut rings? You mean the Galactic Donuts from Gotenks? Yeah, Tien does deserve some kind of look. I, always, I, I kind of always was a little bit of a Tien fan. Well, Tien's kind of crushing it right now against Piccolo, so this might, be a, this might be a Tien round unless Piccolo makes an amazing comeback, which I don't see happening right now. Piccolo's kind of getting squashed at the moment against Tien. 
Okay, okay, Piccolo's kind of heard me. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. Yep, one little uppercut to do the trick. All right, round one goes to Tian. Tian, don't get too ahead of yourself. Still got another round to go, buddy. Potentially two if you lose this round. Or Tien was uh, whooping Piccolo's ass. Oh, damn. All right. Good offense right off the bat. Piccolo needs that advantage in health. Little shoulder charge there, though, from Tien. Ooh, charged up the punch there. Broke through Tien's guard. Oh, the Jack Fist Flash, I think they called it. Or the Jackhammer Fist Flash, I guess. Just a regular, like, regular little combo there. Nothing really too crazy. I think um, Piccolo also has a uh, fuse with Nail, at least, since he's in normal. So he could potentially... I think he needs four key bars to do it. Wow, he is... Tien is crushing Piccolo. Yeah, needed that destructive way. Didn't do a lot of damage, though, I feel like. I feel like the Dodon Ray did a little more damage. To be fair, the Dodon Ah, the Tri-Beam before it was called Tri-Beam in uh, the video games. I remember it was just called Blast Cannon, which was very funny. Ooh, charged up a punch there. No good, though. Piccolo. Oh! Saved there from Piccolo, but I think it's probably too little too late. Yeah, that's it right there. He, he left himself wide open. Wow! Amazing showing from Tien there. We have not seen a single back and forth with these rounds, so there you have it. Looks like uh, like Tien's going to be moving on to the next round to go face Trunks. And if this is only like less than 30 minutes of a stream, I'll like do some shenanigans, maybe do villains as well. We'll see. But uh, there you go. Tien has won going up against Trunks in the next round, but the next round is Vegeta versus Yamcha. You got to think that there's going to be some animosity here because, you know, <laughs> Yamcha lost his woman to the Saiyan. So, let's see what happens here. To be fair, also, Yamcha's cheated on her multiple times, at least according to a lot of the video games. Maybe the anime, too. I haven't kept up much with Yamcha, but we'll see what happens. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Yamcha can get some redemption against Vegeta in this game. I'm the Prince of All Saiyans! Hey, hey, Alright. <laughs> okay. I can't remember. Wow, alright. Yamcha got a lot of pent up aggression against Vegeta right now. He is he is beating the shit out of Vegeta. Oh, we're going into a clash. Alright, alright. I kind of want to do another Budokai 2 tournament as well after this. Suya! <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yamcha has only been hit one. Vegeta gets some offense in. Wow, he is. He's destroying Vegeta. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. My god, he's destroying Vegeta. He got one health bar off of... Yo, the, the, the humans are cracked in this game. The side characters are super cracked in this game. All right, well, first round done. Let's see what the second round does. I, I don't know if Vegeta is game, but we'll see. All right, first shot goes to Vegeta. Already probably a good start. Let's see what happens. Good block there from Vegeta and, and Yamcha. Good defense for both of them. Guards up the attack, though. Good dodge, though, from Vegeta. A little bit of comboage. Oh, wait. Uh, well, Vegeta can't really get too many super attacks off unless he gets... Uh-oh. Uh oh, Oh, good block of the Wolf Fang Fist. All right, this is a lot more back and forth than last time. Nice little Gallic gun. I'm glad they actually did change the color for his Galaga gun, because I know the Kamehameha is just a yellow, uh, big yellow beam instead of a blue beam, which is a little weird. Ooh! The block there from Vegeta doing a grab while he was charging up his move. Ooh, change sides there. Did a little mix-up. 
Oh, they're right near the edge of commies. Look at all this. Okay, I think the clashes just bring them straight back to the middle. Damn! Not to put up a fight against Vegeta. Okay, this is a pretty back and forth round. Let's see who gets the victory in the clash, though. I don't know. I feel like... Oh, Vegeta got it. Okay, I was going to say maybe Yamcha. Oh, Vegeta's pulled out the Super Saiyan. See ya! Got a gun there from Vegeta, but Yamcha pretty much kind of blocked, I think, or absorbed some of that damage. Oh, he could have went for a Super, I think, there, but he didn't do it. I think we might be finally getting a... Uh, Unless Yamcha makes an amazing comeback here, which could possibly happen. Oh my god, he's comboing! Vegeta, are you gonna choke this? No way. Okay. Alright, we finally got our uh, round three in a fight now. Okay, that was kind of rude. He's, he's called Yamcha a freak. Alright, let's get into it. The final round between these two. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Boom, it was mine! First blood goes to Yamcha. Vegeta yet to get an attack in. There he goes, and finally got an attack. Yamcha's got some insane combos in these games, though. Yeah, Yamcha did win around. He's getting pretty, uh, he's, he's getting very aggressive with Vegeta here. Oh, and there goes Vegeta! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Vegeta's got a lot of work ahead of him if he's going to keep up with Yamcha right now. That is very weird to say, but... He's got such, like, very quick strikes. Oh, oh, didn't get all of it, unfortunately. The Galaga on there. Vegeta's got to hold off and do some defense here. Yes, the nose died crap. Yamcha's been in the goddamn vault doing some... He's been doing some work. He's been working out. I don't think Vegeta's expected this type of attack, like, offense from, from Yamcha. He's getting cooked right now. Oh, no, I think this might be it for the Prince. I think the Prince might be going out here unless he can make an amazing comeback. Oh, no. Oh, didn't get enough reach there. Yamcha has six bars of key. It's over. It's over. Yamcha has defeated Vegeta. Damn, Vegeta can't even win against Yamcha. That says a lot about Vegeta. Vegeta is the king of L. Good lord. Wow. That's very shocking. Not e Vegeta can't even get a victory off of Yamcha anymore. That is so sad. All right, well, <laughs> Yamcha's moving on to the next round. And uh, next up, we got Gohan versus Krillin. If Krillin wins this match, this will be wild. All right, let's do it. So uh, let's put Krillin on over here. Bring our boy Gohan. We're going to do Team Gohan as well, just in case anyone was curious. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> this tournament is really throwing everybody for a loop. Bow, 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 bow. I'll do it when I do it. What? Now I'll play for real. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Do little short stuffs going after each other, going, going at it. Two like. Great friends who've done like a lot of journeys together in Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, good Kamehameha right there at the start with Krillin. And, uh, and a good showing so far from Krillin. Kind of back and forth. Oh, now Kamehameha of, of his own from Gohan. Another Kamehameha from Gohan. Ooh, throwing the Key Blast back. It looks like they're just in the void. It looks like they're in the hyperbolic time chamber in the void. Kamehameha there from Gohan, both charging up the key in the middle of the air. Oh, the Berserk Fist! The little Berserk Fist there. Still very, very much anyone's game. Oh, if, if Gohan were to fall off there, that would be horrible timing for him. Gohan's got to get away from the edge. That'll do some really good damage. No! Dude, the humans in this game are cracked. I think Krillin's going to get this round. Ooh, good block there from Gohan. Gohan's not... Gohan says don't count him out yet, but... Oh! Oh, good roundhouse kick there from Krillin. 
There you go. Krill is he blushing? I think Krillin's blushing. All right, round one goes to Krillin. I may die. Oh, all right. I guess Gohan maybe threatened to kill him in this round or something. Jesus. I don't know why he said I may die. <laughs> All right, so far, uh, Gohan's not really been able to get much offense in. There we go, finally, and a little Kamehameha. Oh, iframes there when he was getting back up. Unfortunate. This is looking really bad for the Saiyans. The Saiyans? The Saiyans are looking really rough right now. The humans, however, are doing amazing. Shout out to humans, dude. Shout out to Earthlings, I mean. Earthlings are doing fantastic. Ooh, good block there. Oh, I can still easily make this turn this around. It, it's one good combo or something to turn this whole battle around. But right now, Krillin is just showing who's boss. Oh, iframes there from the command mail. Oh, we got a clash! This is intense. Trunks gonna carry the Saiyan. Wow. These these Sa the Saiyans are going through it in this game. All right, Trunks is the only surviving Saiyan left in the tournament. Krillin has defeated Teen Gohan. I almost hit the wrong source for Seen. I mean. All right. Well, Krillin is now moving on. He's gonna be meeting his best friend Yamcha later on. But the next round is going to be Trunks versus TN in the next one. We might have to do another tournament after this because this is very short. We'll see. That or we'll do some exhibition matches and play with the other uh, characters as well. But uh, holy shit, man. This is looking really rough. It's looking incredibly rough. All right, well, let's go on. Next round is going to be with, uh, with Trunks here. And... Uh, Tien, right? It was Tien? I think it was Tien. Tien. All right, Trunks versus Tien. Let's see what happens. Looking really rough for the Saiyans. Let's see if, uh, let's see if, let's see if Trunks could pull this around, because, whoo, it ain't looking good. Let's do it for real. Hey, it's been a while, and don't worry. Uh, I still check out your videos uh, when you're live. It's just notifications. Scared and, and crazy that uh, Krillin and Yamcha wins. It's very wild. What's up, Sunjoku? Hope you're doing well. No problem. Don't worry. All right, let's see what happens here. Can, can Trunks make up for the failures of the Saiyans? The Namekian failed. The Saiyans failed. He is, I mean, technically he's slight Earthling. Maybe that's why he beat Goku. Maybe because he's half Earthling. Trunks is living up to that crazy potential that they talked about in the show. With Earthlings having like a lot of potential or some crap. He ends at the edge. Not anymore. Ah, oh, the jackhammer fist. Ooh, try to drive the elbow down there. No good, though. Go oh, Dumpa! Okay, so Tien's spamming. That's all right. Oh, my God. Tien's making an amazing comeback right now. What is this Earthling plot armor in this game? Oh, that would have done quite a bit of damage if he didn't block that. Woo! All right, all right. Trunks isn't... Don't count Trunks out yet. Don't count him out. Oh, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Uh, Trunks say... Oh, wait. Okay, good good counter there. If you can get like a... Okay, that was just childish, Tien. That was very childish. Oh, my God. The Z fighters are cracked. The Z fighters are so cracked. I'm gonna win. Ah, uh, we'll see, Trunks. My turn. Last. Are you ready? Dark Saiyan. Over here. Oh, Dodon Ray. You're reliable. Oh, here comes another one. Dodon Ray. That's a whole health bar. Trunks has not hit TN once yet. Trunks, land a hit, my dude. Ooh, with the fake out there from TN. 
I don't know if the Super Saiyan's really going to do much. I think we need to put the humans against Frieza and Cell. We could do that. Why not? Yeah, we'll put the Earthlings against, uh, against Cell and Frieza next. Oh, yikes. Yeah, Tian's winning this. No way Trunks comes back. When Triple H replaces Vince and completely changes and gets pushed. This really is that, isn't it? That really is the case here. This is looking rough. Oh, Clash. There's no such thing as Saiyan plot armor in this in this game. Wow! Slammed him down. I mean, he ain't wrong. He he won. Yen has won, and he is moving on to the next round, to the final round already. And again, we'll do more than just this tournament because this is going by way quicker than I thought it would. All right, now Tien has moved on, and now we got Yamcha and Krillin. This is just a fun little tournament here, and then we'll probably just do some exhibition matches. You know what? No, we'll see. Whoever wins gets to fight Hercule. If Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin are doing this good in the tournament, let's see how good Hercule does. Do you think even Raditz would have a good chance? Probably not, but we'll still give it a shot. That'll be who they fight next. They have to fight Hercule after this match. I mean, this man had a whole mode specifically for him, so, you know. All right, so let's get on to the next one. So it is going to be Yamcha going up against Kuririn. Now, I wonder if the um, the hitbox is going to be forgiving here for Krillin. Uh, or mostly to Yamcha because Krillin's a short. So I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if hitbox will be in the favor of Krillin or if it won't be. If the Earthlings are cracked, then Hercules unbeatable? Probably. I approve. Do it when I do it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> ain't no way T had smoked uh, trunks. Dude, all the Saiyans got smoked. I am baffled. Like the four, like the the five strongest in the whole game, or the five strongest of the Z fighters, all lost to the three weakest. No offense to Krillin, Yamcha, and Tien, but you know, they are they're all the weakest ones. Ooh, Krillin though. Also, I think the hitbox are taking an effect. Oh, Command Mayha there. Ooh, the Tiger Jackhammer. Good uppercut there from Brillin, though. Good Command Mayha as well. <laughs> oh, he's just unlocked potential. Uh oh. That must be really hard to connect. I have not seen Yamcha nail Wolfang Fist once in this game. It would be very poetic, though, if Krillin actually were the one to win the tournament and go to fight uh, Hercule. Uh, because I remember in uh, the Cell Saga, he really was just, like, angry with Hercule. Like, he just did not like his presence. Not to mention, uh, at the beginning of the Boo Saga, when they went to the tournament, he said I would, so, uh, at least in the English dub, he was like, I sure would love to, like, knock that goofball off his high horse, so... Maybe this is poetic. Maybe this is poetic for Krillin. Maybe Krillin wants this. Maybe Krillin uh, deserves this victory. All right, so that was... God, that was only round one, wasn't it? I'll fry you. Ah, oh, damn, that was round one. I'll do it when I do it. Ready? I'll do it when I do it. All right. Ooh, good fake out there, but Yamcha saw it coming. This makes me want to go back and watch the old uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it's the Battle of the Term Her uh, Turtle Hermit School. Oh, never after. Regardless of who wins this, uh, the Turtle Hermit School versus the Crane School, right? It was the Crane School, I think. Be kind of cool too. Gen versus uh, whoever uh, from the Turtle School.
If Krillin takes out the world champion, AT would not have to worry about money anymore. That's very true. Wow, Krillin is crushing Yamcha in this round. He said, yeah, that last one was a fluke. I'm the strongest Earthling here. Yamcha's one shot away. It's over. Ooh, good punch there, though. Maybe he knocks him off. He might have a small chance. No, I don't see it happening. Yep. <laughs> Just a little jab. Brain School versus Turtle School incoming. Dude, imagine if Krillin actually wins the championship here. All right. Krillin has won. Krillin has won against Yamcha and is moving on to face Tien in the finals. Good lord. I was not expecting this to happen. In all my years, by years, I mean like just maybe two years, I think. I have never seen Krillin and Tien make it to a final round in the tournaments, I think. Goku, obviously. Uh, I don't think we've ever had like an Earthling win the ch uh, a championship before in these tournaments, so. Budokai is uh, it's going to be uh, one of these twos' is, uh, playground. So regardless uh, of who wins... Uh, obviously, they will be champion, but they'll just have an exhibition match against the, the, the true champ. Hercule, Mr. Satan, whatever you want to call him. All right, so let's get to it. Krillin versus Tien for the final round. Let's do it. Now, Kr Tien is very, very abusive when it comes to his... When it comes to his Dodon Ray, so we'll see what happens. Go for it, Q-Balls. Rigged? Eh. I mean, I, I mean, I couldn't combo the way they do in this game, so I know it ain't me playing. Let's not forget Tao now. True, Tao did do really well. Did he make it to the finals, though? I don't know if he made it to the finals. Here I go. To be fair, I think he was fighting, like, what, Kid Buu? And Kid Buu was, like, very broken in Tenkaichi 3, so... We can at least give him uh, General Tao that. Tao was, uh... Tao got screwed. And he did an amazing showing in the tournament, though. Yeah, he's got a W. Krillin does have a W already. Right. You know, let's get that bolt. Let's get that... Oh, shit. Okay, not looking great so far. Gonna be honest, not looking fantastic so far. Uh-oh. All right, Yam uh, Tien, Yamcha. Tien is uh, doing really well right now against uh, Krillin. I think Krillin kind of lost his little bit of advantage because I do think the hitbox does take effect in this game. I don't know. But uh, right now, Tien's got a very good advantage right now in health. Krillin's trying to make a comeback, though. Oh, again, screwed with the iframes from the freaking Kamehameha. Oh, no. Oh, that was almost bad. Did you block that? Bro, I don't think you blocked that. All right, unlock potential has been unleashed. I think it might be too little too late here. Oh, that's doing a nice little attack buff. He keeps getting screwed. He keeps getting screwed with the freaking Mehameha, the iframes, man. This is Barnacles. All right, got him down to the last health bar. Krillin put on some defense. Doing some good defense. No fucking shot. No way. Comeback King? Comeback King? No. Oh! Damn! That was almost such a great comeback. Krillin really is the comeback king, man. All right, that was only round one, though. We still got another round. I'll do it when I do it. Here I go. Damn, dude. Mung, let's see what happens here. Krillin Tien. Honestly, I'm okay with whoever wins, but Krillin almost had an amazing comeback there. Krillin did have a good start, but uh, looks like uh, looks like Tien is uh, getting a nice little comeback himself. But now Krillin. Oh, good counter there. Good counter. Good counter. Oh, there we go. Krillin. Maybe showing that that was, uh, maybe telling Tien that, like, hey, that was a fluke that you won. Uh-oh. Here comes the old reliable. Ooh. Good counter there from Krillin. 
Game was charging up the attack, but Krillin was able to get enough shots in. Uh oh, Blast Cannon. Or Tri Beam, whatever you want to call it. Oh, too little, too late with that one, Krillin. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. You can still get this. You can still get this. Oh, they're very close. Down to their last health bars. Once again, Krillin. Oh, with the Berserk Fist! Krillin needs one good combo and he wins. Krillin just needs one little combo or just a clash and he wins. Oh, he needs one shot. Krillin, don't choke! No, your T-Rex arms, Krillin! No, yes! <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to be biased, but God, that would have just sucked. I want to see a good back and forth, and we are seeing it right now. God, these two are giving it their all for this tournament. Okay, down to the final round. I'll do it when I do it. Yeah, you'll do it when you do it, whatever the fuck that means. All right, here we go. So far, we're getting more back and forth happening here. The crane versus the turtle. Oh, very back and forth right now. Oh, Krillin, Krillin now showing some really, really, really good attacks here. Oh, he's laying in the aggression, baby. Oh, that's a difference maker. That's a difference maker. Oh my gosh, Krillin is destroying Tien in this one. To be fair, the uh, him falling off the Kami's lookout was definitely something. Let's go! Krillin is your new champion! Let's go! Krillin has defeated Tien and is now your champion. Let's go. I don't really know what to do here. I'll just put Tien back over here. Your champion, baby. Put it in. Hell yeah, dude. Amazing. I, Krillin has finally won a tournament, dude. I think I was very shocked. No offense to Trunks, but I was very shocked when Goku, of all people, lost. Because Goku is actually pretty cracked in these old games. And then, uh, very shocked that Tien... Be oh, wait, Tien should be over here. I'm an idiot. And then very shocked that Tien ended up, uh... Losing to Piccolo, as or beating Piccolo as well. Vegeta beating... Or Vegeta losing to Yamcha. Gohan losing to Krillin. Like, it's a hell of a tournament. You gotta say. But it's not over. In the words of Goku, it isn't over yet. Oh, is my controller turned off? There we go. We still got one more fight. You know what? Just for the fun of it... We're gonna go over to, we're gonna go to Hercules Playground. Krillin is champion, that doesn't change anything, but we're just gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the World Tournament stage. Obviously, this could go very quickly or not, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do it when I do it. No, unfortunately you can't do uh, CPU versus CPU in Xenoverse. Oh yeah, this song is really good. Doesn't Hercule actually have a uh, transformation? I think it's kind of like, like Berserk or something. I don't know what it's called. Or High Tension, I think it's called. Oh, already almost got Hercule out of the ring. We'll do a best of three. <laughs> I forgot about that super. <laughs> Dynamite kick. Ooh, this is actually really back and forth. Wee! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love that animation. That's one of my favorite super attacks. Oh, yeah, there it is. High tension. Well, his high tension uh, brought him out of the ring. Good job, Hercule.
Well, well, that was, uh... That was the first round, I guess. Krillin, you're against Hercule. You're not gonna die. Alright, you know what? Maybe maybe the champ made me just uh, let him have that one as a little, uh, you know, maybe to lower his guard a little bit. Oh my god, it's working. Oh, there. Okay, there you go. What did he say? Make a ton blast attack, I think he said. He just slipped. He slipped in the air? <laughs> Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I think his shoelaces were undone. We'll, we'll give that another shot. All right, here we go for the for realsies this time. What a heck of a trip! It's his dark stomach cake again. <laughs> I hear ya, I hear ya. Oh wait, Hercule critical attack. I mean, actually, hang on a minute. Hercule actually kind of winning right now. Wait a minute. Over here. Oh my god. Oh, dropped it. You fool. Oh. We'll just go first to we'll just go first to three. Sorry, but very poor. The best of <laughs> so we'll go best of five. All right, so Hercule won this the third round. So uh, now on to the fourth round. Give it your best shot. Are you ready? <laughs> hey! That was close. He felt bad and let him win. Oh my god! Comeback King! Sorry, but very poor. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, well, move final round! I may die. As we can see, Nut can beat the champ. All right, here comes the final round. <laughs> All right, I want to see if we can get a KO without them going out of bounds. The ring's surprisingly big. A big? It's surprisingly big, but like they just—they're very—they're just all over the place. Uh, actually, it's not that big. I would love to use the tournament stage way more if it just was better. I wish they made an option to where you can also make it to where, uh, like, there's an invisible wall there. I like the gimmick of it, but, like, you can go, like, back and forth if you want to just have, like, a knockout tournament. Oh, Krillin's right on the edge. Oh, the high tension might be enough. Unlock potential versus high t <laughs> Damn, he knocked the potential right out of him. Oh my god, Hercule might KO Krillin. Krillin, no way! That's true, there are no ring outs in Raging Blast, which is why I like Raging Blast tournaments a lot. The battles were a little bit more shorter paced, but they weren't too bad. But there you go, the champ has won! All right, there you go. All right, you know, I think we all know what we really, really got to see here. We need a rematch of, of of extreme proportion. Hercule versus Cell. I'll try that Cell Games Arena, but I don't think it's going to work out. I wish you really could just, like, go to the actual, like, ring, like, start there. It's so dumb that you can't. But it is what it is. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Entertain me. Entertain me. 
<coughs> Second form already. Oh, he almost knocked him. He actually almost knocked him into the arena. Hold on a minute. It'd be kind of cool if he does, but I don't think he will. Oh, good reach. 